jump scare. I look rough today. I look rough. Let me tell you about my morning. It's 7 o'clock, but let me tell you about my morning. So I had work this morning, right? I set my alarm last night. I told Abby, I was like, hey, I got work in the morning at 7.30. Yeah, because... You know, just solidifying it that I had work in the morning. Set my alarm, went to bed, got some shut I went to bed at like midnight. I was out last night at a club. Set my alarm, wake up. Actually, no, don't wake up. No alarm goes off. Abby wakes me up and she's like, Jordan, it's 8 o'clock. I'm like, I had work at 7.30. So I'm like, I shoot up in a panic, ripped my bonnet off my head. I'm like, oh my God. Oh my god, I, I've never been late before. Contact like my boss. I'm like, hey, I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm on my way. Get there. And I, it was fine, but like, I just felt so bad and I felt so stupid because the alarm that I set, um, no alarm was set. I, I remember distinctly going in and putting it on, and I did put an alarm on. It just wasn't an alarm for that day. My alarm for 6 30 that I said is for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and I assumed that it would also cover Friday, but it didn't, so. Oh, anyways, that, that explains the atrocious appearance currently. Also, is hair wash day. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd, I'd take you along today. You may be wondering what the point of this video is. It's like a chit-chat, get ready with me, except I'm not going anywhere. I'm just doing my, my weekly hair regimen, but I thought it would be cool to show you this because I know like I mean I'm not gonna I'm not the most informed natural hair curly girl that there is but I, I have my little routine and I stick to it and um I've been natural for like probably probably since like my sophomore year so yeah like four years five years um I made the decision to go natural just because I don't know I I just realize that I didn't like I wasn't like the type of person that like straightened their hair um frequently but when I only felt pretty with straightened hair and so like every other day would just be like buns or like you know low ponytails which are fine I love a, I love a bun clearly and I love a low ponytail but um you know it's not healthy for your hair to be in that position all day and all night and like frequently and um I just was like, no, nah, there's, there's gotta be something different. My hair's not supposed to do this. And I started getting into like, more the natural hair care um, stuff. And it was really interesting and it was really cool. I had a lot of damage and I just had to like reverse a lot of that damage. Um, maybe I'll put in pictures of what my hair used to look like. Uh, if I do, I, I really love y'all because it was a mess. I was a mess. But um, yeah, so now I like wash my hair every Friday here. It's different here at the dorms. Um, I will say it takes me about like the whole process probably takes like four hours which <laughs> is kind of crazy it doesn't take four hours I'm like it takes like an hour or two in the shower and then probably like another hour out of it maybe we'll see we'll time it this time so I can give you an actual true step-by-step -step process but um yeah as I was saying I just really enjoyed like when i was getting into my natural hair care like era i really enjoyed watching youtubers and like seeing other girls with hair like me or with hair not like me but that were just going through their processes and products that they liked and and you know things that they knew worked for their hair things that they knew that didn't and you know i still use some of those same like processes and um products that they showed me all those years ago and i swear by them so i thought that i would make a little video um, and yeah, just chit chat, talk, because it feels like a while since we've talked. My past like three videos have just been me singing, which is fine. We love singing, but you know, this is this is more than that now. Um, and yeah, I just feel like we gotta we gotta gab it up. Is that is that a thing? Gab it up. So that's not a slur, right? Um, also, really, really want to thank you guys for our hundred subscribers. Um, I don't know when I'm posting this. Uh, the goal is to post it Sunday, May seventh, but that would mean today is Friday, May May fifth, Cinco de Mayo. So I would have to bust that out for you to get it by Sunday. So if you're seeing this next Sunday, then I failed, but that's okay. I, it was a it was a small goal. I'm going to um, just to make things easier on myself. 
Hold on, let me take off my ring. But just to make things easier, I'm just gonna like wet my hair, put some oil in it, and try and detangle it now so that when I'm in the shower, it doesn't take me as long. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed. So yeah, um, I can show you that process. I'll probably speed it up, put a little, little tune in there, and yeah. Then I'm gonna hop in the shower. Not taking you in the shower. No, no. It's not really an intense routine, but um, I'll explain it when I get back. So yeah. Hope you enjoy this video. Yeah. Oh, I want to lights like that. You should. I was at Walmart yesterday, um, and I just seen this, and it was only like twenty dollars, and it's like it's not LED lights too, so that means you can carry it anywhere. It's Filming like, right now. You want to say hi? Filming? Yeah. A vlog? Um, it's like a chit chat. Get ready with me. I'm gonna take them through my. Get ready with me. I'm gonna take them through my hair routine. I'm about to wash my hair. It's like a chit chat. Get ready with me. Did you hit a honey yet? Yeah. Yes, sir. Hey man, if y'all if y'all watch my sister, no, if if y'all if y'all watching my sister and not subscribe, that means God's watching. <laughs> it does mean God's watching. And that's not fair because it don't take nothing but to subscribe to somebody. Nothing. It just, it's just one click. That's it. Yeah. That's crazy. I like your hair looking a little burnt out right now. Is that what you're doing in the bed? Yeah. I told you it's wash day. I got to wash my hair. I'm about to detangle yeah, it right now. No, I'm just a believer. Like, you got to just, sometimes you got to get in where you got to fit in. So that's not, that's really how it is. I agree. It really, it really ain't nothing, but, nothing more or less to do it but to do it. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. So, all right, though, let me talk to you, man. All right, good talking to you for five right, seconds. Subscribe to my sissy. Subscribe. All right, for sure. Ciao. Au revoir. Nice. <laughs> he only talks to me for 30 second intervals. <laughs> This like keeps squirting out so much oil. I hate it. I'm like being a little bit impatient. I should probably demonstrate like the best. And what you're supposed to do, you start from the bottom. You don't go straight up here like I just did. That's really not good. Start at the bottom, work your way through. Especially because there's not really a lot of product in here but also putting the water like reactivates all the product that I already had in my hair so it's not that bad of a slip but yeah this process just makes like when I'm in the shower so much easier just because like I don't have to spend as much time detangling it I'm still gonna detangle it in the shower but it just helps that you know that first layer <laughs> is already done because my hair gets really really tangled and it it's like probably the thing that takes the longest part of my routine so I've recently just started implementing this and I only do it when I'm like I feel like it but it honestly helps so much yeah now I'm just gonna do the other side um and yeah <laughs> I'm watching Love Island and I just love watching men lie <laughs> They just, as soon as a new girl comes in, they're just lying. Yep, I'm gonna go hop in the shower, but I'm not gonna hop because it's very dangerous. And yeah, I'll be back when I'm all done. It'll probably be like a really long time for me, but a really short time for you. Why don't we do a fun little transition? I'm not gonna remember to redo it, so I'm just gonna snap. Okay. So I'm not gonna lie, we were in there for quite some time. <laughs> the issue was I got distracted because I was listening to some really good songs and you know just started having fun so it is almost nine o'clock but also I, I like lollygagged before I got in there too this is just a really bad schedule that I'm on I got in there at like seven ish so really I did well there was way so much easier to do it with my hair pretty tangled um just shampooed went so much easier and so much better and yeah, there was so little hair that I shed and like if you're just starting your natural hair journey and you're like, I'm just so scared because I shed so much hair, do not worry. You're going to shed hair, especially if you're only washing your hair once a week and detangling once a week. I recommend that you detangle like two to three times a week. Do I do that? 
mm, maybe I'll do two times. The other two being when I wash it, but it's gonna happen. You're gonna shed. It, it's just written in the stars. I'm sorry. You just have to deal with it and like use methods that you know are gonna be easier on your hair. Like take your time. Um, start at the bottom and like just things like that. Use really good products to get good slip. As you can see, <coughs> my hair is like mostly dry. I have low porosity here, if you could tell. Um, the ends are still a little bit wet, but I'm gonna have to rewet it because we're diffusing, baby. So I'm just gonna get out my products. Extra large thing of eco that is almost well, it's not almost gone, but it's almost halfway, or it is a little bit more than halfway. I don't know. I'm not in math anymore. I like this leave-in. It's just is kind of like thin, and so I just use it in conjunction with. I use a lot of products, y'all. I don't know to use all these products, but I just like it. This is my favorite leave-in. It's my go-to. It's the Shea Moisture Strength and Restore Leave-in Conditioner. People have like started to have bad things to say about that this conditioner, which I don't know, but I'm. Um, Shea Moisture Truth, I gotta be honest. Heat protectant. I saw that this one was good. I didn't even know that you had to diffuse before, or you had to use heat protectant before you diffused. I like have recently gotten into diffusing. I just one day randomly was like, I really wanna do it. Cause at first I was like, I didn't believe in it. I thought, I thought y'all were lying, but y'all weren't lying. It's cool, it, it gets the job done and I like it. Um, especially for like the hairstyle that we're doing, which is Frojo, we're doing Frojo today. Um, I have about like, 20 different hairstyles that I do, um, like 20 different methods, but today is going to be the Frojo method, so stick around if you want to see that. Um, I'm going to start with the back of my hair. It's the most wet right now. The front is going, I'm going to need to do a lot to her. So we're just going to start back here, tie my hair back, and yeah, first thing I'm going to do is just go in with the leave-ins, really saturate that, and yeah, I'm also going to go in with brush this brush that probably looks disgusting but um just to lump those curls together to make sure that we're getting really nice and thick and juicy moisturized curls so yeah just an update i don't even know like what to say you guys i don't know what to say these past couple months have been like weirdly hard i don't know i started off january like so strong and so like I'm like yeah i'm ready to go and maybe like it's just part of new year's syndrome or whatever but like genuinely i was just doing so well in january and then it just seemed like i just started to decline and decline i don't know it's so weird i also want to say you're gonna need a t-shirt or a towel or something because your hands are gonna get dirty there's no way around it sorry guys but yeah i just this month was a lot i have like i'm taking 17 units right now which you know, in hindsight, probably wasn't my best decision, but there were just so many classes that I wanted to take, and now that I'm in them, I'm like, ooh, these weren't a good idea to take all together. One thing about me is I'm not a quitter. I'm not gonna give up, especially when it comes to school. I'm not going to be down bad for school. April was just, I don't know, it was a doozy. It was a doozy. These midterms have been really hard, and like, it was just like back to back, like no breaks in between. And I think that's what made it so difficult for me because I really like to have time to process information and like really let it sink in. And the quarter system at UCs does not allow you to do that at all. We're doing three quarters if you don't take summer classes, three quarters, 10 weeks each quarter for three or four classes every, every quarter. That's a lot. Imagine learning everything you're supposed to know about a subject in 10 weeks. Going in with this honey, um, I should be reading the products. This is the Camille Rose Honey Hydrate, step one, the weave-in conditioner, um, the weave-in collection. It's pretty thick, so I don't use too much of it, but I really like how it smells. And I like that it weighs my hair down a little bit. It's not about forgiveness. I'm still working on it. Remember that last Talking Feelings Words? Or that first Talking Feelings Words that I did? I was like, you know, I don't believe in forgiveness. I'm starting to realize that I think it's, it's the answer. I think that that's, that's what I'm supposed to do. I think going in with this, mm -hmm. going in with this, mm -hmm. going in with this anti-shedding medium conditioner. Hey, if you don't want to shed, use this, I guess. Once again, I'm not doing too much because I already did so much of the, my favorite conditioner, but um, my favorite even. 
Also, if anybody has any tips in the comments, please let me know. I'm always open to new natural hair tips, especially for my specific hair type, because I'm still so very much so worrying and still trying to figure out like what works and what doesn't. I don't know, but I feel like these next few months are like usually the months where I struggle the most in the year. Like, I don't know how to word it. It's just summertime is just very like lonely and bad for me for some reason so I'm kind of just trying to mentally prepare myself for that and you know I'm really trying my best to stay positive more so this year I think last year I like if one bad thing happened to me I would let it debilitate me and you know we're not doing that anymore that's not healthy and it's not helpful to me it doesn't do anything for me going in with this brush and then I'm just like finger coiling a little bit the finger coil you just wrap it around your finger and you just keep going until it boings basically one thing about me though is i'm gonna get this degree one thing about me is i'm gonna get this degree i don't care what happens oh, don't do that don't do that i've like been struggling a little bit mentally because i haven't been performing as much and i feel like when i don't okay i'll just tell you the story i had like a really rough couple of weeks just because I was so stressed about these midterms and you know, just a lot going on mentally. Lindsay and I were performing at this like Got Talent um, thing. It was a really cool event. Um, I couldn't really go to it because I had a midterm the very next day in Latin and I didn't know anything because I'm just not really, I'm in Latin 2 right now and it's just not clicking for me like Latin 1 did which really sucks but um Hi. Hi. You're not filming, are you? Yes, I am. Oh, are you filming? Get, do my hair with me after mm -hmm. I shower? Hi. Delicious. I've never used a bath phone. Really? Never. Are you filming on your phone or your camera? Hi, camera. Can I say hi? Are you recording? Yeah. Actually? Yeah. You recorded this whole thing? Yeah. But I'm pretty sure she's going to fast forward it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to cut it out. I didn't reach up to grab it because my hands okay. were wet. Leave this in. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> Was it? You yeah. want to say hi? I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I finished the back half of my hair. I like, I'm realizing I have to go faster because my hair is drying out already and we need it to be like pretty wet actually. We're going, we're going fast time. Um, what you probably didn't see, I added like a little layer of gel to everything. Um, so yeah, the gel is just to lock in the moisture, but honestly we're probably gonna have to re-moisturize because, or I can just re-wet it. I don't know, I don't know. Like I was saying before, oh, real quick, look at this. I'm gonna have to like, get rid of my part because the part just messes it all up. I think this past couple weeks have just been really hard because um just the amount of stress and then I don't know it just was like every little thing was like oh because I was already stressed with everything was like oh um so I had a Latin midterm the day after we were supposed to perform and like I don't know I hadn't I hadn't even begun to start worrying about the performance because I was just so stressed about Latin and the two midterms that I had next week so then I got like hours before the performance and I'm like freaking out I'm like shaking and like we went out there and it was fine I didn't do my best and that like killed me because I'm such a perfectionist um but it was literally just because I was just so anxious these past couple weeks so it sucked but I'm trying to give myself grace about it because you know not every performance is going to be your best performance and so many people still told me that I did a, a good job and you know that's that's good you always want people to tell you that you do a good job so they could have been lying but you know they didn't have to they didn't have to lie to me was the last time we actually like sat down and chatted I guess Palm Springs which is kind of really wait yeah because it was like Palm Springs and it was like mood ring there's no way <laughs> well um Hey! Hello. Um, we can keep talking about my hair. I, like, should have had cue cards to talk about this. Like, just to talk about stuff. I'm really not that interesting of a girl, I promise you. I I talk about books. Oh, I can talk about books. Y'all, I'm actually sick to my stomach. I knew this would happen. I was talking, I was talking, I was talking, and then it shut off. The last thing I said was, oh, I can talk about books. And, it, like, I went on a whole other tangent. 
and it didn't record. So I'm just gonna give a summarized version. Dang, I said such good stuff, I'm so mad. I was telling you my shower routine. Um, <laughs> I'm so mad, I'm so mad. I go in with the shampoo. It is Kiki Curly Cum Queen Moisturizing Shampoo. It strips your hair and it really gets in there and I need that, I need that. I get a lot of product, product buildup. Then I go in with the Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Hair Mask. I'm so mad! Um, this isn't my favorite deep conditioner. Um, I just don't have my favorite one here. It's like a Camille Rose one. I can link it or I can put a picture. Uh, it's like mint something. I don't know. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I'll just re-say it. I'll just re-say it in a different way, I guess. I don't know. I'm so upset. <sighs> okay. Basically, I was talking about like my natural hair and how it's been such a journey to accept it and embrace it. Um, I started going natural my sophomore year in high school and I was saying how I distinctly remember one day I like probably one of the first days I had wore my hair down and like let it be naturally curly and you know instead of like putting it pulling it back or braiding it whatever and I came to school and my friend who was not black and did not have curly hair he says to me oh you woke up and decided not to do your hair today huh and that messed me up that messed me up because i put so much effort and work into doing my hair and into like making it look like it looked and just for him to say that it was so ignorant and it was so demeaning and you know obviously like i said he was not black he did probably didn't know the struggle <laughs> that it is to have girl hair i mean he definitely didn't know because he didn't have girl hair but it just really bothered me i don't hold any animosity towards him for that statement but we don't talk anymore but it doesn't matter but um i just think that we as like black women and black girls are taught so early on that our natural hair isn't beautiful and that we can't exist the way that we want to exist with it and we have to do all these different things we have to perm it we have to press it we have to put it in braids just to feel pretty and you know i'm not saying that any of those things are bad things you should be able to do what you want with your hair but it should be based off what you want and not what society is making you do like for the longest time, I wanted straight hair so bad. And I hated having curls. I hated when I brushed my hair and I would get like little waves. It bothered me so bad because I just wanted it to be perfect. And in my eyes, perfect was straight. And that's just not true. It's so cool that our hair does this. I was saying in the clip before this that didn't get recorded because my camera wasn't recording. I was saying I love all the different like ways that we do our hair like i love the locks i love the knotless sprays i love the silk press i love the weave i love the wigs i love the curly froze i love the short hair i love the bust hair i love it all and i think it's so cool and i can't believe that for so long they tried to like make us hate it and it's just so funny as a black girl like to see the things that you were like berated for become trendy and like to become popular like so many white girls want box braids like that's crazy that's crazy your hair isn't even meant for that <laughs> and it was just so funny because like we it was something that made us different and something that made us weird and that we were caught out for and now it's like everybody wants it crazy stuff crazy crazy stuff but to any person of color who's watching this even you know if it's not your natural hair if it's your skin tone or whatever if you're like Man, I wish I was like everybody else. Don't, don't. You are so special and you are so different. And it is not in a bad way at all. It's what makes you you. And just love your community. Love your community so much. Don't spend so much time hating yourself. Because it's just going to turn into hate for your community. And you don't need that. They're going to be the ones that build you up and represent you. And you're going to represent them. And I just know that this generation, I have so much hope for this generation. And just like... I just can't wait to like see the the kids that we raise honestly because I just feel like it's gonna be so different we're just gonna be so much more caring and loving I hope and you know obviously there's always gonna be <laughs> it's always gonna be some bad apples in the bunch but like I just think we're such a more accepting world now and I'm, I'm so proud I'm so proud of myself of the black girls other girls of color like we're just <laughs> We're learning, we're learning, we're changing the narrative, and I love that. I don't know if you caught any of that routine. Basically, I went in, shame my shame. This, this, Joe. Okay, I'm actually probably gonna put more Joe later, but um, I'm going TikTok was like, when you do your hair like this, you need to 
um, not have a part. She did like a zigzag. Last time I tried it, it was like one girl did a zigzag and one girl did something else. I think I'm gonna do the zigzag. I think it's just easier. Ugh. Um, but yeah, I started talking about books later on. Don't laugh at me for my zigzag. I was talking about books. I love books. Sorry, you can't see me. I love books. I love reading. I've loved it since I was a child and infant, actually. And the worst thing about college, well, one of the worst things about college, for me personally, has been the lack of time that I have to read. Like, I literally don't have time to read the books that I want to read. This is what I was saying before. I have a Pinterest. I was saying, follow me on Pinterest, Jordan Sierra. I'll link it down below. Oh, that's not going through. On my Pinterest, I had been, like... I have this board that's basically just for like quotes and stuff like quotes from books or quotes from songs that I love and like even ones that I don't know where they're from I just like save it and I kept saving these quotes from this book and I'm like what is this what is this melody what is this melody and so I just kept saying the words a little life and I was like okay I'm in it I'm in it I gotta get it and I've been wanting to get more books that are like a little bit more mature, a little bit more, like, I can't just keep reading Hunger Games and The Lunar Chronicles all the time. The Odyssey is on my to-read list, especially after that song that I wrote, having never read it. Um, the Iliad is on there as well. I have, I have a double feature book. It's so pretty, I should show you, but it's not here. It's, it's at home. So let me make sure that I'm still recording because I will literally cry. We're good, we're good. I'm gonna check again in like five minutes. So Abby got me a little wife because she knew that it and actually she like kind of tricked me, I'm not gonna lie. She was like it was like Valentine's Day and she was like, Jordan, can you send me your book list? And I was like, Yeah, wait, no, I was like, no, don't buy me anything. And then she coursed it out of me. So I sent it to her and she got me like 300 books. I don't know how to pronounce the author's name. I will put it down here. Um, but I do not recommend you getting this book. I don't I don't recommend it, actually. When I first started reading it, I kept seeing stuff, like my part is still there. I kept seeing stuff on TikTok and this girl was like, you know, should I read A Little Life? And this girl was like, this book was great. I can't recommend it. <laughs> I can't recommend it to you actually. And I was like, oh my God, why can't you like recommend it? And she just was like, it was just so like heartbreaking that she couldn't in good conscience recommend it to anybody. And it's like 800 pages. I'm on probably like 500. No, actually, I had to have Abby take it away from me because it was getting too close to midterms and I just kept reading it and I needed to focus. So I said, Abby, take it away. Girl, 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 girl. That book is nothing but pain. I can't even get into it. I can't even get into it. It's just like the most heartbreaking thing. And I just know somebody's gonna die. I know somebody's gonna die. And my favorite characters historically always die, so not looking good for me and my favorite character is literally the, the character who probably is going to die so it's not looking too good but um it's a really beautiful book it's a really beautiful tale of like life <laughs> kind of it's it's like really sad and it's like one bad thing happens and you're like whoo that was bad it can't get worse right and it does so uh take with that what you know I'm like so scared about how this is gonna come out, but um, you know, we did our best. We did our best. This next portion is gonna be a little loud, so I won't be talking, but you can still watch. This is the diffuser that I have. Uh, I don't remember what it is. I can find it and put it down below if anybody wants me to. So like I said, I am still very much so learning the process of this and learning like what I like and what works for me and what doesn't. Um, I've watched a bunch of videos, and they've given me a couple tips. I'm getting a headache. I'm tired. Things I do. For the do. <laughs> um, I'm going to be putting the heat protectant on my hair. I think I said this a little bit before, but I genuinely didn't know that you needed to heat protect for um, diffusing. The girlies on TikTok told me. And, like, it makes so much sense, honestly. Um, I'm gonna spray this. This smells so good. I had Abby smell it, and she said she didn't really like it, but it smells so good to me. It smells clean. I don't know. I don't know what the flavors are. Um, it's vegan. 
oh my god crazy i would drink this <laughs> pressed cranberry oil guava fruit juice squeezed olives torn kale leaves prickly pear pulp ground pumpkin seeds shiitake mushroom i would literally devour that in a smoothie no <laughs> i was actually thinking about it i think that i learned from a girl on youtube i don't remember her name but literally just search up like how to diffuse your hair she had like really cool orange hair but she said like you should start not touching your hair i mean other people have said that too but her video was just the one that i watched um so you start not touching your hair and low 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 setting cool or low setting i don't know don't do too much heat don't make it hot don't make it hot don't make it loud <laughs> I'm already here. It's a little less than 80% dry. The ends are just really what's still wet. Um, so we're gonna let it sit for like a little bit. I don't know why I'm calling it it. Like my hair isn't a living, breathing creature. Yeah. Um, diffusing my hair, I'm learning, is very much so trust the process. Very much so trust the process. You're not going to love it the first day. You're not probably not going to love it the second day. The third day hits, and you're like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, this is what I was waiting for. So, yeah, I'm just going to let it sit for a little bit, and then we'll come back, and then we'll probably be, like, dry, completely, 100% dry, probably three times bigger. And, um, yeah, we'll start diffusing for real, for real. I'm back. My hair is probably not that much bigger, but whatever. I've just received the best and worst news. The best news, speak now, Taylor's version is coming out July 7th. What? And it, bad news. <sighs> Taylor and Phoebe performed nothing new tonight, and I wasn't there, because I, I don't live in Nashville. Why am I not in Nashville? I'm excited. I'm like personally excited. The story of us, long live as 33, as a 33 year old. Ooh, never grow up as a 33 year I need a moment. Taylor, you're sick. We're gonna go in and we're just going to like do that thing. Um, yeah. I like, I have no words. I have no words. I can't believe they say nothing new. And Phoebe, I'm going to go see Taylor in LA, but Phoebe's not opening for my shit. Oh. It's Gracie though. It's Gracie and I want to say Gail. I don't remember. But Phoebe. I love Gracie, but Phoebe. Okay. And Boy Genius performed with her. And I'll just, this last thing I'll say that album, the record. It was so good. It was so good. I like have not stopped listening. My favorite songs. Actually, I want to see. Can you guess? Can you guess? Me being a girl who loves a sad ballad. Yeah, it's a weird love. It's a weird love. That's my song. Also, a letter to an old poet. Out. Um, Twenty dollars is a bop. Not strong enough has to be like. Actually, that might be my favorite. It's probably not strong enough, and then just like right behind it is weird love. And then there's one more. Um, cool about it. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, going back. I've just been singing not strong enough to myself. I don't know why I am the way I am. Okay, it's starting to look good. Singing boys don't cry. You want to mostly leave the bang parts alone. Just let them do what they do, honestly. Um, the rest of my hair I play with a little bit more. Best part. Always 
an angel, never a god. Always an angel, never a god. You'll never Sickening word, right? Sick. Sick. Always an angel, never a god. Always an angel, never a god. Always an angel, never a god. I don't know why. I'm still trying to avoid like placing it directly on top of my head like that because that causes the most frizz as well. My hair is probably like 98% dry at this point. Um, it's just this right side. I don't know why. She's still, she's still kicking. She performed two jobs on my guitar on piano. That's crazy. Kiss me wish I wish you Okay, I think we're all done. Um, with the diffuser. It's probably still like just a little bit wet at the roots, but I'm not too concerned about it. I'm not going to bed right now. I still need to eat dinner, y'all. It's 10 o'clock, but it's in the fridge, so I got it. Um, yeah, so now I'm probably gonna add some oil just to really get in, in that scalp. She's been through a lot today. And yeah, um, I'll probably pick it out a little bit too and show you my process for that putting a bit of tea tree oil um, on my fingers and then I'm gonna go in just, just like that. This tea tree oil smells really good. I don't think it's, it's definitely not just raw straight tea tree oil. I know what that smells like and this is not it. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I saw Sabrina Carpenter this month. Abby got me tickets for Christmas and so we just went and it was so good. She was so good. I had to pee at the very beginning of the set and I was so upset. So I like raced to the bathroom and I ran into this like wall of TikTokers. It was actually very dramatic. I don't know if I should say which ones, but you know which ones were there. So if you, if you look it up, LA show at the Greek, you know which ones were there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they were so annoying. They were so annoying. We were right above them and they like didn't even watch her at the whole show. I'm like, how are you here and you're not looking at Miss Sabrina Anwin? Like how? Anyways, 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 Somebody on TikTok told me to do this. I'm a little scared because, like I said, this tea tree oil just wants to all come out at once. So, but I'm just putting like a bit of oil on the ends of it. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna go through, give it a little volume, not too much because, like I said, it's gonna get bigger as the days go on. And I'm gonna pick it more like every morning. So, not too much right now, but just enough, just enough. I think we're done. Um, how I sleep, I just like bring my hair all forward like that, and then I use a scarf, and then I put a bonnet on top of that as well because the scarf never stays on. Yeah, I hope you like this little routine, this little chat. Um, like I said, it wasn't very organized. Uh, I think I said that. Maybe I said it and it got deleted, but this wasn't very organized. Maybe if I do this again, we'll actually have stuff to talk about. Maybe I could ask you guys to send me stuff to talk about. I don't know. But there are a hundred of you, and I don't want people to be silent anymore. If you want to see a video, let me know. We can do it. But yeah, I'm going to eat and go to bed. I'll probably watch Twilight tonight, honestly. I need to finish Beautiful Boy, though. I've been re-watching it with Timothy Chalamet and stuff. Steve Carell. Dude, crazy pairing, and it worked. It worked so well. I love that movie. I cried. Actually, I didn't cry the first time. I cried watching. <gasps> Look at this curl. Oh, she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. I love her mouth as well, right? <laughs> okay. Wow. Completely lost my train of thought. Hope you like this video. Make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe, you tell me what more you want from me, and we can make it happen, Captain. And I'm gonna go to bed and I'm gonna stop doing this terrible accent. But I don't know why. This isn't even a good microphone. I don't know why. I am the way I am. Na, 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 na.
ecstatic. I think I've been having revelations coming. I don't know the lyrics. Good night. Maybe I'll put a clip of how it looks like two days from now, if I remember.